Hi, my name is Trevor, and I'm a member of the physical therapy team on the orthopedic unit. In this section, I will show you exercises, techniques, and equipment that will assist in your recovery after total knee replacement surgery. The day after surgery, you will begin physical therapy to improve the strength and flexibility of your leg. Typically, we work with you twice a day. You will be taught how to move comfortably in bed, correct positioning, and exercises that will strengthen the muscles in your leg. The CPM, or Continuous Passive Motion Machine, will assist you in increasing your range of motion. You will learn how to use a walker or crutches, go up and down stairs, and get in and out of a car safely. In most cases, after surgery, you will be able to walk and put weight on your leg as tolerated. It is a good idea to have a family member or friend attend one therapy session with you so that they can see how you walk and what exercises you are doing. To prevent falls, remember to use caution in getting up too quickly after eating, lying down, resting, or using the toilet. Before your knee replacement, there are some exercises you can do to achieve the best possible outcome. You will also continue these exercises in the hospital after your surgery. These exercises and descriptions are located in the booklet you received from the orthopedic clinic. These exercises include quad sets. Sit or lie on your back with the operative leg straight. Next, press the back of your knee into the bed. This will tighten the muscle on top of your thigh and move your kneecap upward. Hold this position for five seconds. Your goal is to do 10 repetitions per hour while in the hospital and once home, continue to do 10 repetitions three times per day. Hamstring sets. Lie on your back with your operative knee slightly bent. Next, press your heel into the bed as if sliding the heel towards your buttocks. Hold this position for five seconds. Your goal is to do 10 repetitions per hour while in the hospital, and once home, continue to do 10 repetitions three times per day. Ankle circles. You may do this exercise with both legs. Move your ankle around slowly in a large circle. Repeat in the opposite direction. You should do this 10 repetitions per hour while in the hospital and once home, 10 repetitions three times per day. Precautions. This movement should come only from the ankle, not the hip. Do not turn your entire leg inward. Your knee should stay facing up. Ankle pumps. Bring your toes toward your face. This flexes the ankle and extend your foot like you're pushing on the gas pedal, then pump back and forth. You should do this 10 repetitions each hour while in the hospital, and once home, 10 repetitions three times per day. Gluteal sets. Lie on your back. Tighten your buttocks together firmly. Hold this for five seconds. Do 10 repetitions per hour while in the hospital, and once home, 10 repetitions three times per day. Straight leg raise. You may need assistance at first. Lie on your back. Bend your non-operative leg up so your foot is flat on the bed. Keep your operative leg straight and raise it straight up 12 to 18 inches. Do this 10 repetitions three times per day. Heel slides. Lie on your back. Slide your operative leg out to the side as far as you can then return to the starting position. Remember not to cross the midline of your body and keep your foot and knee pointing straight up. Hold this for three seconds and slowly relax. Do this 10 repetitions three times per day. Short arc quads. Place a roll under your knee, flex your thigh muscle and bring your heel up. Relax your thigh muscle and bring your heel towards the bed. You should do this 10 repetitions three times per day. Hip extension. Stand with feet slightly apart, holding onto the walker or a firm railing or countertop. Lift the operative leg backwards as shown. Do not bend at the waist. Hold this for three seconds and slowly relax and repeat. Do this 10 repetitions three times per day. Hip flexion. Stand with feet slightly apart, holding onto the walker or a firm railing or countertop. Lift the operative leg in front of you, hold this for three seconds, and slowly bring the leg back to neutral position and repeat. 
Do this 10 repetitions three times per day. Lift the operative leg to the side, hold for three seconds, and slowly bring the leg back to the neutral position, and repeat. You should do this 10 repetitions three times per day. Standing knee flexion. Stand in the neutral position with your hands on your walker. Bend your operative knee so your heel races towards your back. Your goal is to do 10 repetitions three times per day. The CPM, or Continuous Passive Motion Machine, will assist you in increasing your range of motion. This machine will assist your knee with flexion and extension, or an up and down motion. In addition to physical therapy, you will be using the CPM for one to two hours, three times a day. If you have crutches at home, please remember to bring them to the hospital on your day of surgery. Our physical therapy staff will make sure they are safe and ensure they are fit properly. Before you are discharged home, physical therapy will have you safely practice walking up and down stairs with your walker or crutches. The stairs are done one at a time, leading with the non-surgical leg up and leading with the surgical leg on the way down. A good way to remember this is up with the good, down with the bad. Up with the good, up with the good, up with the good, down with the bad, down with the bad, down with the bad. If you have any questions about your therapy or activity, please be sure to talk to your health care team during your hospital stay. If you discharge to home from the hospital, you will receive home health physical therapy for about one week. If you discharge to a skilled nursing rehabilitation facility, your physical therapy will continue there until you are safe to return home. After that, your physical therapy will continue at an outpatient clinic following completion of the home health physical therapy or your stay at the skilled nursing rehab facility. Your first outpatient physical therapy appointment should be scheduled for 10 to 14 days after you leave the hospital. This should be arranged prior to your surgery to ensure that there is no lapse in time for your rehabilitation. The length of outpatient physical therapy is dependent on your progress, but will typically last six to eight weeks. We want you to be successful in your recovery.